So the test for irons comes up every single year. You have to know this and you have to know this really well. So for a frame test, lithium goes crimson, potassium goes lilac, sodium goes yellow, barium goes green, and calcium goes red. Now some of you may have different opinions about what colours these go. I don't care. And guess what? The exam board doesn't care either. These are the colours the exam board wants you to learn. So these are the colours that I'm telling you. I'm really sorry because I, honestly, I don't think barium goes green. But the exam board says it does, so I'm telling you it does. The test for negative ions. You need to know that carbon dioxide will turn lime water cloudy. If we're testing for the halogens, we need to add nitric acid and silver nitrate. Chloride ion will go white, bromide ion will go cream, and an iodide ion will go yellow. For um, testing for sulfate, we need to add hydrochloric acid and barium, hydro barium chloride, and we will get a white precipitate. The precipitation reactions, we need to add sodium hydroxide, um, calcium will go white, magnesium will go white, aluminium will start white, but as more sodium hydroxide is added, it will dissolve. Copper 2 will go blue, iron 2 will go green, and iron 3 will go brown. Titration, how to do a titration, could come up as a big six mark question, so you need to know how to do it. We need to have our acid or alkali, depending on what the question says, in our conca flask, measured a known volume using a pet. Spelling of the pet is really important here. We need to have our indicator in our I have our indicator in our contact flask and we need to have a white tile over the top there so we can see the colour change going on. We need to have burettes uh, with the sodium hydroxide in and we need to slowly add the stuff in the burette drop by drop whilst uh, swirling. Measure the volume of sodium hydroxide added. Do that two or three times, four or five times until you get concordant, the same result. <coughs> then we need to, sorry, it's a big maths question that could come up is the titration question. We have our equation here. You need to know that N equals C times V. C being the concentration, V being the volume. Work out from the question, that's where I got these numbers from, the volume of acid, what we need to work out, the volume of alkali, the concentration of alkali. Turn your volumes into decimeter cube. To do that, we divide by 1,000. Plug the numbers that you have in the equation. Because it's in a one-to-one -one ratio, the N for acid is also going to be the N for alkali. Put the numbers into the equation again and get your answer out. <coughs> 